Boxing is back in Vegas on Tuesday. Bernardo Osuna joins us now in advance of this anticipated evening. And I saw a snapshot inside a casino over the weekend. It looked like, you know, all was back to normal. But a snapshot can be deceiving. Based on your experiences and based on sort of the protocols that are in place, how different do things feel right now? Hey, SVP, it's a pleasure to join you. Yes, outside of our bubble for top-ranked boxing and ESPN, it's pretty much Vegas back to normal. People not wearing masks, but for us, it's a rival because we're here for business. And once we got here, the first thing we did was go up to our exclusive floor, get that test for COVID-19, and then we had to quarantine overnight expecting a negative result that then would allow us to move around to the conference center where it's the hub of activity and everything takes place. Everybody here within this bubble understands just how important doing this right is, not only for the sport of boxing, but what this could mean for other sports as we return back to our new normal. M meanwhile, outside of your bubble, it's, it's, it's mayhem. But, I mean, I suppose that's Vegas in a nutshell. Now, we know there won't be fans uh, and that's the new normal right now for sports as well. Outside of that, for fight night, what do you expect will feel different? Let me show you. When was the last time you saw one of these, Scott? I had to fight a lady off at Sam's Club, Costco last time to get one of these. So this might be going up on eBay. So this is the biggest difference that I'm noticing. But for the fighters, it'll be the fact that they will only arrive into their dressing rooms with time to warm up and then fight. There's a lot of things that are different, but once the bell rings, the fighters assure us that it'll be the same because it's hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's one guy against another, one man's dream against another man's nightmare. Well, Shakur Stevenson is a guy who at 22 is a world title holder. He's 13-0. and And Bernardo, people are invoking the name Floyd Mayweather. Now, I, I, I hold my hands up and I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Money Mayweather, you tell me that comparison. How reasonable is it? Comparisons are always tricky. You'll remember that once upon a time there was a guy named Harold Miner, Baby Jordan they called him. Then there was Kobe <laughs> Bryant. Yeah, yeah. After watching the last dance, we all realized, hey, there's only one MJ. And if you're going to be compared to anybody, Shakur Stevens says, says hey, it may as well be Floyd Mayweather Jr. I don't think there's going to be another guy making $400 million in one night. Going 50-0 is going to be tough. But this kid is special. His style is sublime. And more than anything, he wants to be greater than Floyd Mayweather. How does he differentiate himself? He says, I don't want to do that heel turn that Floyd did going from pretty boy to money Mayweather. I want to do it the right way. And what I want to do is prove it in the ring. He's already done great things. I'm not even halfway there yet. But what he wants to do is unify all four titles, become undisputed at 126, then do it at 130 pounds. That will differentiate him, and he wants to be a global superstar. He understands that to do that, he's got to knock people out. And he says, Felix Caravaggio, when boxing returns on top-ranked boxing on ESPN, will be his next victim. We look forward to uh, welcoming boxing back. The role you'll play, stay safe. It sounds like everybody's making sure that they're going to uh, give you every opportunity to do that. It seems a little bit cruel and unusual given the city that you're in, but uh, there'll, be, there'll, be another, there'll be another time in Vegas down the road when everybody can uh, enjoy a little bit more. Bernardo, stay safe, all right? Thank you very much. It's Groundhog Day. Twice a week we'll be bringing boxing to you on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but there's no place I'd rather be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.